A pipe rod system with flanges at ends A and C was supposed to fit exactly between two rigid walls. However, element number one and element number two are shorter than one, what they are supposed to be. So there is a gap at point C. Element number one is made from steel pipe and element number two is a solid steel. Bolts hold the flange at A against a rigid wall. Other bolts are installed at flange C and are tightened until the gap is closed. And what happened in this case? There would be internal force in the system. The system would be under tension. So in this case, we are looking for how much is the force caused by such tightening in the bolts? How much would be the internal force of the system? Also determine how much is the stress in the element number one and two. Also determine how much flange B the middle part moves to the right. So these are the parameters that we are looking for. All right, let's start with freeway diagram. This is the, the very first step that we will do for answering almost every problem in mechanics of materials. We need to take out a free part of this structure. This system connects to a wall at two ends. So I need to cut it twice to make it free. I'm gonna cut it from two points like this. And if I take it out, this would be my free body. There would be one unknown force in element number one, which goes to the left because that face outward from the cut section. And there would be another force F2 that goes to the right because that face outward from the surface again. So here I can use some of the forces and determine if we can, and see if we can determine the internal forces. How many unknowns do we have here? We have two unknowns. How many equations we have? One. So two unknowns, one equation, the problem is indeterminate. Okay? So we have to take four steps to determine the internal force. Um, let me write down the equilibrium equation. Negative F1 plus F2 is zero. In other words, I can say F1 is equal to F2. That is the first equation. Remember, what I get is that F1 is equal to F2, but I don't know how much is the value of F1 and F2. All right, second step would be writing deformations as a function of internal force. Deformation is FL over EA. Let's plug the values. F1 is what I'm looking for. I will write down just F1. Length of the first element is given as 60 centimeter, which is equal to 600 millimeter. Modular plasticity is 200 gigapascal, which is equal to 200,000 megapascal. And area of element number one is 380, all right? That simplifies to F1 divided by 126,700. Let's do the same for the second deformation. Delta two is FL over EA. F2 is what we are looking for. Length of the second element is 500 millimeter. Modular plasticity is the same. Area is 250 squared millimeter. If I plug the values, that gives me F2 divided by 100,000, okay? So we have determined internal force in deformations as a function of internal force. The third step is the core of solving this problem, that is the compatibility of deformation. What is the compatibility of deformation in this case? What is the relation between delta 1 and delta 2? Which category is this one? One, two, or three? It's one. So I can say delta one plus delta two is equal to the gap and just plug the values. So F1 is, delta one is F1 divided by 126,700. Delta two is F2 divided by 100,000 and gap is 0.5 millimeter. Um, I can simplify this equation by multiplying every term in this equation by the largest denominator. Here, I will get F1 plus 1.267 F2 is equal to 63,300. So let's call this second equation. Now we get two equations and two unknowns, and we can solve it for internal force. This is what we do in the fourth step. So combining one and two, 
gives us 2.267 F1 equal to 6300 and F1 would be equal to F2 and that is equal to 27900 so we have done the difficult part of this problem we have determined internal forces the problem looks for stress in each element and deformation of flange B all right um, stress in the element is simply force over area sigma 1 is F1 divided by A1 F1 is 27900 Newton. area 1 is 380 and that gives me a stress equal to 73.5 megapascal stress in element number 2 is F2 divided by A2 F2 is similar area in the ele second element is 250 squared millimeter and that gives me a stress equal to 111.7 megapascal and the last part is how much is the movement of flange B how much does this flange move what connects flange B to support A <coughs> element number one so the movement of that flange would be equal to the change in the length of that element element number one so I will say delta B is equal to delta one Delta 1 is FL over EA. I don't need to plug all these values because we have determined delta 1. Delta 1 is F1 divided by 126,700. I will write it in this way and plug F1. And that gives me 0 0.22 millimeter.